Hi, thanks for watching. This is a quick look at how Google views and ranks websites in search results. By knowing how the program works, you can use it to your advantage to increase the traffic to your site by getting it on the first page, so where you're the first click and the first call whenever anybody's searching. Now I've got your website pulled up here, and the layout is great. We've got all the information, the drop-down menus, call to action buttons, work. The only problem that I'm seeing is that there isn't a whole lot of content on the home page. And that's going to be a problem because the way that Google ranks websites is based on two factors. The first is the content. So it's going to come in and count all the words and text on the page. It's usually looking for a minimum of about 1,000 to 1,500 words because it assumes that the more information you have on the page, the more of an expert you are, and the more likely it is to recommend you in search results. Now, while it's counting words, it's also looking for keywords, which would be anything that somebody would type into search which is usually going to be a service that you offer and then an area that you offer it in. Now this is where the number of words on the page particularly comes into play because you're only allowed to have one of these keywords for every 100 to 150 words of text on the page. Now the second way that the page is going to get ranked in Google is based on its authority, which is basically a popularity contest. Now there's two ways to build authority. The first is by getting what's called citations. Citations are any time that your name, address, and phone number are listed in an online directory. These directories include Yelp, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau. They're usually free. It just takes some time to find them, register your business, and then input the information exactly as it's shown in Google. The second way to build authority is through what's called backlinks. That's when another website links or refers back to yours. It acts as an endorsement that Google uses to build trust because others are vouching for you. You can kind of look at it similar to a customer review. If you had a thousand five-star customer reviews, a new customer would think pretty highly of your business. Google's doing the same thing, except it's using other websites to make this judgment call. Now to see how this determines where your website ranks in search results, well, you, the first thing you're gonna find when anybody searches is what's called the Google Map Pack. This is actually a pretty important area to try to get into because anywhere from 40 to 60% of people will just click one of these top three companies. To be listed in here is free. You just need to fill out your Google business profile. It's inside of the Maps app, so you can do it right from a smartphone. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you fill out as many fields as possible, including the services that you offer, the area that you offer it in, even the hours of operation. Then you want to continuously add photos that are geotagged within your service area. Upload those as well as posts to your profile on a regular basis. Have customers leave reviews. And then you want to get as many citations as possible. Those name, address, and phone number, you want those to be listed in more directories than anybody else on this list. Then underneath that, this is what we call the organic search results. This is where the higher the authority or the more trust that Google has in your site, the higher up in the list that it's going to rank. So to demonstrate this, I put your website into this tool that I use, and it shows me all the information that Google finds when it crawls your site based on its authority and its content. Now, just to define these terms, if the local news station did an article on the top 10 insulation companies in Massachusetts, and in that article, the reader could click a link and it would bring them to your website, that would be considered one referring domain. So just to put this in a little context, what I've done is I've done two different searches, and I've just taken some of the top results in these search, so that way you can see what kind of authority that they're bringing to their site and the reason why they're ranking. Now, as you can see, there's a pretty big difference depending on the area that you're in on how much competition there is to rank. But something to keep in mind here is it's not just the quantity of these links, it's the quality. So for instance, if we had like a pizza place, like Pizza Hut, linking back to your website, Google understands that you're in the insulation business, you're not making pizzas. So even though that would add numbers, it wouldn't actually add any authority. It needs to be relevant to the service that you offer. So for instance, we'd be looking at trying to get sites, any kind of blogs or posting sites, directories, news articles, anything that to do with the home improvement, remodeling, renovation, insulation, energy efficiency, things like that. Then as you can see, Google is not picking up any keywords on your page. Now, it's most likely, my guess is because a lot of these are probably being read as a picture. So they're not actually being picked up. And there's also just not enough words on the page to qualify for the keywords. So 
just to take a quick look in, in the competitors so I can kind of demonstrate. These are all the words and phrases that are being typed into Google search and then the volume, the number of times per month they're being searched. So what we would do is we would go in here and find all the highest volume keywords that are relative to your area and the services that you offer and make sure that those were included on your page and being picked up. So for instance, installation contractors in mass, that's being searched 150 times. This company is on the first page of Google, the first position on the first page. So if this was you, you'd be getting 150 people a month that would be seeing your website. We usually use a pretty conservative estimate here and say only 10% of those people will actually turn into leads and give you and contact you. I don't know in your field what the conversion rate is, but let's say only 30% of those actually become customers. You'd be looking at five customers a month just off this one keyword. So then we would repeat that process for all the other highest volume keywords, like I said, in your area and related to your field of, of work and service to make sure that those are included on your site. Now, obviously every job has a little bit of a different profit margin, but you can see how all those leads can definitely add up to some revenue at the end of the year. Now, I hope this information was helpful and it allows you to scale some of your online presence. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or if you'd like me to go into any further detail. We could also talk about your goals and I can do some research to find out what it would take for you to reach those. And I always appreciate getting feedback as well to find out if information like this is useful for you. So please let me know what you thought. Thanks and I hope this helps.